terrified of volcanoes growing up. I used to have nightmares, and so, of course, I moved to the community that's the face of Mount Rainier and became the mayor. Josh Penner was born two years after clouds of ash filled the sky. He grew up learning about the devastation. 57 people were killed when Mount St. Helens erupted 44 years ago. Now he sounds more like a scientist than small-town mayor. You see the pyroclastic flow, the explosion, and that's not something we have to worry about here in Ording. We're far enough away where the explosion isn't an issue. But a wall of debris drifting downstream, that's cause for concern. Mud flows like this can be triggered without a volcanic event and could be devastating to communities like Puyallup, Sumner, Buckley, and Wilkeson. There's a lot of fantastic scenarios of Lahar where it's a 50-foot wall of mud traveling at 50 miles an hour. By the time it gets to Ording or the communities here in the greater Puget Sound, uh, it's probably moving much slower. It's estimated folks here in town would have 60 minutes to make their escape. And it's a risk locals take seriously. Just a few weeks back, Ording held the largest Lahar evacuation drill in the world with 45,000 participants. What we look for in Ording is how can we get the most amount of people out of the city in the most efficient way. Mayor Penner tells me he's encouraged by the number of seismometers on this regional landmark. Right now, there's 20 in and around Rainier. It certainly is a very monitored mountain. But that cannot be said for all the active volcanoes in our region. Just this week on Good Day Seattle, Harold Tobin with the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network shared both Mount Baker and Glacier Peak need more instrumentation. They're both in remote spots. They're both, you know, wilderness areas, hard to get to. Um, Glacier Peak has one seismometer on it, and that's it. And it's a very old one that is really in need of, uh, uh, of proper upgrade and replacement. This summer, one of the seismic monitoring stations on Mount Rainier is scheduled for an upgrade. And scientists hope in the future they can expand the Lahar monitoring network around the mountain as well. Reporting in Ording, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.